Hi guys. Today I will be showing you physics behind the guitar. The physics that is used for the guitar is frequency that can be changed with length, tension, and thickness. First I will be showing you length. By holding down certain frets on the guitar, which are here, you will hear certain types of frequency. By an open note, not holding any strings, you will hear a low pitch noise. But if I hold down a chord, you will hear a higher pitched. Next is tension. By having tension on the strings, you will hear different types of frequency. Tension is pretty much just putting your hand on certain types or certain chords on the guitar and you will hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's supposed to. <laughs> um, thickness, depending on the different types of thickness, which as you can see, all these strings have different thickness. Each of them have a different unique sound. You already know what the first one that I've been doing sounds like, so let's do something different. I'll try the bottom one. The bottom one is thin, and it's thinner than this one, obviously. This one you hear a high-pitched noise. Based on that, the reason why we hear that also is because of notes. Notes is pretty much just a wavelength that vibrates almost like wall to wall. If I don't hold any notes down, there will be one or there will be two notes on each end, showing a wavelength and vibrating up and down. But if I hold something, one of them down or two of them down, you will hear obviously multiple frequencies and there will be more than two points and it will have higher vibration. Guitarists often use a tuner or tuners to better fit themselves when they're playing the guitar. These are the tuner knobs, which where I was talking about. Um, you can hear the different frequencies as I'm changing the knob. In order for a guitarist to get the right frequency, they use a tuner that's either in the guitar or an app, or my grandpa always uses his ears. He's been doing guitar for many years, or playing the guitar for many years, so he knows what it's like, or he knows what the sound is. And that is, the, uh, the tuner is just to measure the frequency using speed ties wave length and there that's when um, physics gets played into it um, here's off the side note this guy right here oops, he's called a capo and what this does you put him on different kinds of frets like so I'm going to put it in between the first two frets. And I don't know what these are called because I've never messed with a guitar. So I'm not musically gifted like the rest of my family. But having that there, the chords have a higher frequency. And I will show you how that is. So first I'll be doing, showing you this one. You can't see it based on my recorder but this is what you'll hear if you remember before this has a um, 
higher pitch than when it's off. Many times my grandpa will tune his guitars to sound like banjo. Like a ban Ugh, I can't talk. Like a banjo and having less strings, but he just uses his guitar strings and then puts the capo on so it's higher for people to hear. Also, the physics behind the guitar and why you can hear the frequency and the noise is because of the hole on the guitar or the face plate, which is right here. If I cover up the hole and try to play notes, that's what you will hear. Um, in order for you to hear a guitar, you have to hear... In order to hear the guitar, you have to have this hole open to hear the noise. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something from me and hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thanks.